beautiful people, welcome back to this week's episode of Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga Nakawa Kawaida. This is the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. Today, we are talking about saving culture amongst the youth. Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 Unfinished. I don't know what most of you think about saving, but when it comes to me, I feel like it's very hard for you to save as a Kenyan youth. First of all, because we have very high rates of unemployment and of course, how ways to save Kitriyengi Hakuna, quite relatable, right? So on to our first question, do you think Kenyan youths are financially literate? Let me know what you think. I would say majority of the youths, uh, they don't have that knowledge because they don't even that they don't even have the opportunity you are kufanya job hawana kazi hence leading to that illiteracy so maybe kikiona more job opportunities maybe wanaweza kuwa na hiyo pesa yeah na wapate hiyo knowledge i think some of the kenyan youths are financially literate like uh, some do have vision and goals they are financially literate in terms of um, most of them know what they want in life so they, most of them have financial needs and uh, that is what they put first, that is their first priority, priority and that is what they just struggle to, to strive to all the time. I believe some of them, most of them, most of the Kenyan youths are doing that. No, I don't think so uh, because uh, anything about finances is being taught everywhere nowadays via the media, even in schools. So Kenyan youth are actually not financially illiterate but they know that they, they actually they understand about the saving culture and uh, it's only that they are not willing to save money and now considering the, the cost of living and the kind of living they youth want to live to to live in here for instance uh, for instance now when it comes to clothing things like that eh? Kenyan youth always want to go for expensive clothing, expensive makeup, just like yours. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the Kenyan youth are, uh, are illiterate financially. Instead, they know, but now they don't want to adhere to, uh, to the knowledge that they have as far as finances is concerned. They are literate, to be honest, because there's so much saving that they do. There's so much work that they do. They have different works and um, I believe they put their money in the best way that they can. So I believe they're literate, yes. Yeah. Go on. Well, uh, since 1966, to be honest, children have been saving so that they can make their parents happy. And it has been something that is vital and the parents are happy. Nevertheless, there are some children, like I myself, who has been using my money in not in a very righteous way, but I believe the bigger percentage, 67% of them, they save in a righteous way. Uh, personally, I think not all, as in Ukraine, are illiterate, and there are those who are illiterate. Yeah, do, if you look like, like of late, our Kenyan youths, when you want to spend money, as in it's very evident. Um, honestly, I think not. We, okay, we like to think we know what finance are, uh, finances are about, but really I don't think that is the case. Considering if a Kenyan youth were to lay their hands on any money right now, they're really not going to put it into anything beneficial. They'd best spend it going out to their friends, I don't know, just on basically having fun, so no. The information we need on financial literacy for us to be progressive, I don't think we have it. Uh, Kenyans needs uh, people who are financially literate because literacy in Kenya in terms of finance or in terms of financial management is very high. So Kenya needs very many people who are literate in terms of finance management. Yes. Yeah. This is because they need to that they save money for the for this, for the use for their future. Let's say for even investment and for their children and others. See, kila mtu wako na knowledge, but some wako na but majority, like large percentage, hawaoni kama kusev ni kitu, kitu inezo wa saidi, unona? 
eh kwa sababu wezijua kesho nini ta happen hivyo ndo most of the youths wanajiambia sijijua kesho nini ta happen na niache hiyo pesa unaona yeah so kwa hiyo knowledge ya kusave bado hajijua importance ya kusave i can say they are financially illiterate uh, this is because uh, you find i can talk of the percentage of the people who are saving in our country 38% of people uh, are saving in this country reason behind it the 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 youth or the from childhood let's say from those days while we go for sandia service you are given a cash of 50 shilling and then you you save 20 bob and you give out 30 in sandia service uh when you reach at age of high school or colleges you are given a certain amount and then you save let's talk of you are given 5000 you save 1000 and uh, you spend 4000 so you realize when you reach adulthood you have your own saving but the saving we have you have learned through experience not uh, trainings or literacy trainings that's what i can talk about and that's why the percentage in our country is 38% uh doing saving as i can talk yeah i think wako wako literate is just that uh they don't want to accept the fact that saving in as a side ya in as a side ya sisi kama my youth so mainly wakati they get the money they tend to think about things that maybe share una get sasa my youth kuva and all that so they know it so wanajua kabisa they are literate about the the issue of saving but they just don't want to act on it they think about things that are not actually important at, the, at that moment yeah okay i think uh, i think so they are very much financially literate and um this is uh, brought about by the daily interaction you know at, uh, as you, as you move around to you interact with people who have different ideologies and uh, basically some people have economic ideologies so to me i think so that uh, youths have literate skills and uh, they, they have capacity to know much about uh, about saving that's what i can say personally i think a small percent like let's say around 40% are illiterate 60 are literate so like we are still having a challenge in them this 40% becoming literate so you see uh, at least we have a 60% so we have the majority being literate so yeah personally i think majority are literate i do believe they are but are only a small specific number of them especially maybe you can refer to them as the elite the elite youth i can just say that they are advantage because they have the resources to be elite but the majority of the population unfortunately they are not on to our next question why do you think kenyan youths should save let me know what you think in the comment section because of the future i'd say uh we have we have many reasons why youth should save for example like maybe a lot of youths have ideas uh we'll find we have a lot of entrepreneurs though they lack that opportunity they don't have that capital so one is a save then we'll put capital here to start their business kenyan youth should save because um at first you should realize the dynamics of the economic times are such now and then the first thing is look at the um, general populace as at now we are facing inflation as uh, such uh, that's we have the demonstrations and the political upheaval but at, but i think the kenyan youth should save because with the um, current changes in the financial sector the introduction of cryptocurrencies the availability of funds in terms of the youth fund in terms of the agpo that's the ag- access to government uh, procurement opportunities those are the some of the advantages because they build their credit score and when we use the um, the example of the hustler fund as a, just as an example 
you can see I have a, a good number or a case study that refers to the a, a sector of youth that uh, has been able to save and start this bidding business and the small smoky business. And as such, I believe I can quote one book in that line. The richest man in Babylon, it says, pay yourself fast. So I believe a specific uh, fraction of your income should really go to saving. And this is why you should save. You know, I do save and those savings when you're collier. So I think number one is the savings, they usually there, zikuwa kole ukikwama. Like personally, I save, na most of the time, the savings no hunyo kolea nikikwama. Uleza pigia, let's say, your, your parent, na wana pesa at the moment. So kamu me save, your savings zako zitakuwa kolea. Pia, you can save to invest. Uneza kuwa, uh, for example, sahili, tuseme I have a business idea, so nita save, then no ni invest kwa your business idea, ni savings zita ni idea. So I think they should embrace saving. What I think uh, Kenyan youth should save is, uh, one, you save for, for a future generation. That's one reason. Because, you know, as a person, you need to have a family. Socially, you need to have a family. And when you serve, you do it not for yourself only, but you'll be also helping future generation, basically, or uh, so particularly, children, and even your grandchildren, and so, so, so on generations to come. And also, too, the reason why we should also serve is we do it so that we can, uh, we can enhance uh, development to our countries or to our country. Sometimes, you know, when you serve, you, you promote the so-called uh, economic circulation. Why do, you, why do you promote economic circulation? Because sometimes you are saving and uh, you put in the bank. The money that you have put in the bank, sometimes the, the, the government gets something out of it in terms of taxation. And so doing, it also promotes something like growth to yourself and development to the entire nation. So uh, they do. They should, they should serve, actually. It's all about the future, you know. So, on Asai, right now you find that youths come as easy. You don't have a family, you don't have children, you don't have people to take care of. But what we are working towards in our future, what we are building, building towards is our future. So, when you save, then you are, like, affirming that your future will be, will be good. So, your family, maybe if you have a wife, you will take care of them with no problem instead of right now not saving and then later having trouble. So it's all about affirming a good future for yourself, yes. Okay, they should save because of the, 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 the basic need requirements. Let's talk of uh, if you want to take a short, short term service course, you need to save. Maybe you save while you're in high school, so that when you complete... Like, let me talk an example of myself. Um, number 39, kwa familia. So, uh, not 39, but out of 39, niko number, number 17. So, nikiangalia line jenye ina, what I have to save, because I know when I complete form 4, wale wengine wanataka kusomeshwa. So, in the same case, I need to, to save. I also have my own uh, requirement, the basic need. I come from a culture where that is the Ma community. Ukimalisa form four one on anga at least um songa songa. Now you can pay for the others. So na fa ku save ndio ni pate requirement basic requirement and at the same time uh niji so meshe ama or I I want to have the luxurious life like the rest. You remember? Ukimaliza the the fourth year in high school, your mind has broadened. So, kuna vitu nataka kurich, and maybe the parent always you obtain. Uh, uh, in the same case, you have your own saving you can attain. Thank you. A Kenyan need to save. Okay, to save mm, one in a kusaidia to establish yourself. No, because uh, the moment. Unafika 18, um, kwanza could depend on your parents in a quarry, so unapata some things you need to provide for yourself. Akuna kumba mzazi, so um, 
Okay, Sam. Una try to establish do nanzia wapi ndo ukwe wapi ufike ufanye nini like eh do unafa ku start from zero na hiyo zero unaanza na ku save. Uta save one bob hadi fike ile yenye unaanzisha kufanya anything kama ni ka business or even. Jo ndio wasaidie kwa future kwa that seven kwa waanzishie biashara alafu kwa mambo na shule alafu let's say take an example a youth akimaliza shule ni tumari anahitaji pesa yenye atatumia kusaidia familia yake a kenyan youth for example me here standing am a youth so i should save because the future is depending on me especially i as a man kids are coming my wife is there coming god willing so i need to have a plan of saving now and not only for the family but even for what you can make an achievement to yourself like for example buying yourself a good car or having a good home so you must start now to if even you don't have the kind of saving just start on how you can or have a plan on how you can save for those two, three requirements i've said um honestly um as to where the economy is right now not even just the youth alone but every single person in the country should be saving right now because let's not even get into how um the Kenyan shilling is continuously declining against the dollar we just need to save because well for rainy days and you just never know what's coming up front what's coming next to you so yes you need to save for the rainy days and more the okay, Kenyan youth should as in should get the habit of saving for the future because as in if you can look at some of the young couples some are the old couples who embraced the habit of saving as in like in this moment of the when, when the economy is very low uh, you can see that they are very as in their lives zinaendelea poa but not ile poa but unaangalia pia wenye tu they used to spend all their money vibaya 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 as in unaweza tu as in it's evident bado Eh, like as in you in a habit so that you get used to the future when you have a family that you'll be saving for these needs for fees for like your uses your expenses all that mm. i believe they should save because we're living in tough times the economy is rising but we believe like kenya is the richest land as we speak so they should be wise in the way they use their money for future you see now saving will help you even in in your for your future for planning in future you see now youth just like any other person has a future hmm? for instance people will have families hmm? there are unexpected things that may come along things like diseases so it is actually uh, very important and very critical that Kenyan youths should consider their future when even when it comes now to the saving their money and their finances yeah a Kenyan youth has a lot to deal with and uh, you find that saving helps them accomplish the financial part aspect of the, something they didn't they didn't have before they can now through saving they can get what they want through to chama people use chama i use chama in chama you see when you save in chama when you get that money it helps you a lot you save we uh, save with other groups of people the the money you get a large sum of money now you can able to do what you want with it because i think it, it it assists a lot in my opinion i feel like youths should be able to start saving from a very early age because first of all saving saves you a lot of trouble because first of all it's going to be there for you when you have emergencies it's going to be there for you when you need to make investments and it also gives you financial security lastly it keeps you away from debts let's take a short break we'll be back with two more questions <laughs>